All right, Shalom, Shalom, Israel. We back out here on the highways and hedges, giving all honor and glory to the Most High Yahweh, which the world calls God and Yahweh Shai, which the world calls Jesus Christ. Shalom, Shalom. And we out here for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? right? God's chosen elect people, right? Let me get uh, Matthew 10 and 5, King, right? And let me get Matthew 15 and 24. So we out here for the children of Israel and none else, like the Most High said in Joel 2 and 27, right? We're not speaking to these wicked, crooked nations, man. These nations about to be taken out the way. Matthew 10 and 5, come on. 24, whoever got this first. I got it. That's right. All right. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15, and verse 24. Bring it out. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but, but unto the, the lost sheep, sheep of the house of Israel. Israel. Of the, the house, house of Israel. Israel. So the Lord said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of of Israel. That's right. So he's here for the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Right. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, and verse 5. Right. These 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, right, which are the heathen nations, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. Right. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So the Lord said, but rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He didn't say go to the dirty Hamites. He didn't say go to Esau. He didn't say to go to the damn Moabites that like eating dog, man. That's right. He didn't say to do that. He said to go to my chosen elect nation. That's right. And as ye go preach, That's saying it. the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Do what? So like as ye, and as ye go preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So the Lord said, as you go, tell them that the kingdom, hey brother, you believe in God? Brother, you don't hear me talking, brother? Damn, the Lord gonna put you to death, That's man. That's right. If I had some damn drugs up here, you would've listened to me quick as hell, man. Right. If I had something you wanted, you would've listened to me. But because we got the Bible, man, they despise this, man. That's right. Let me get first Ephesians 4 and 4. Whoever got it, Ephesians 4 and verse 4. Got it. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 4 and verse 4. Right? There is one body and one spirit. 4 and 4? Uh huh. 4 and 4. Try 1 Peter then. Slide. Oh, 1 Peter. Come on. 1 Peter. Or it might be 2nd, but try 1 though. Whoever. What did you want to make? 2 Timothy 2 and 7. Okay. Don't you think it's strange? That's it. This is the book of First Peter, chapter four, verse four. Bring it out. Wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same excess of riot. Right, and they think it's strange that we're not doing the things of this world, man. Because we preaching the word with Bibles, a microphone, and posters, they think we bug outs. They think we crazy because we preaching the word of the most. Hey, brother, you believe in God? So come hear the words of God. We got it right here for you, huh? I can't hear you, brother. You don't want to make it then. You don't believe in God, man. You despise God. That's right. Speaking evil of you. Doing what? Speaking, Speaking evil, evil of you. And that's what most people do. When they walk past and they see us talking about the words of the Most High, when they leave, they say, these niggas is bugging. Right. Who are these niggas, These man? niggas crazy. Yeah, these niggas. Who are they? Who are, Where they come from? Right? They speak crazy of you, man. Speaking evil of you, man. That's how Jake get down. But little do they know if they listen to this word, this will save their soul. That's right. There's more? Oh, there um, chapter 5. Who shall give account to him that is ready to judge the quick and the dead? Right, so who's who Who can say something to the Most High? Nobody, right? For this, for, for this was, sorry, for, for this cause was the gospel preached also to them that are dead. Right, and dead meaning spiritually dead, not literally dead but spiritually that they that they might be judged according to man in flesh mm -hmm. but live according to yahweh in the spirit right so they live according to yahweh in the spirit and judged by man meaning we will be judges out here because we're using the scriptures and we're judging the people according to the scriptures right so you're being judged in the flesh by man but spiritually you're worshiping the most high we're teaching you to worship the most high we're teaching you how to serve the most high that's what we're doing right y'all believe in god so come hear the words of God real quick. This is the word of God. 
All right, brother. Well, if you don't repent, the Lord gonna destroy you, man. That's right. All right, brother. See, he wanted to stay, See, and what if something not believe? You know? Right. What he say? He say, I don't know if that's true. No, nah, he said that's true. Oh yeah. You see, all right. Con and he wanted to stay, but his mother, his mother wanted to go, man. She just, she just made, hey, she just killed him. Unless the Lord, you know, saved him, you know? That's if that's it, that's it. Um, what I wanted, Second James one and nineteen. Oh, watch this first time. Nah, I'll come. This the book of Second Timothy, chapter two and verse seven. Consider what I say. Do what? Consider what I say. Right. And the Lord give thee understanding in all things. So consider what we say, and the Lord will give you understanding in all things. Ultimately, isn't this the word of the Heavenly Father? Right, let me get Hebrews 10 and 7, King. This is the word of the Most High. So you have to consider what we say, and the Lord will give you understanding. Hey, brother, you believe in God? Come hear the word of God real quick, then. All right, well, the Lord going to kill you quickly, too. That's right. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 7. Then said, I, Lord. We're going into captivity. Don't That's wave right. your hand at us. That's right. We are masters, man. Most high will. Hebrews 10 and verse 7. Then said, I, Lord, I come in the volume of the book. He comes in what? In the volume, volume of the book. book right? It is written of me. And it's written of Yahweh Shai, man. So everything we're saying out of this book is from Yahweh Shai. That's, right. That's why you got to consider what we're saying, man. Because the Lord is your savior. Can't the Lord save you? Can't the Lord kill you when he wants to, man? He's the God of prosperity and adversity, life and death, man. Right? Whatever he says, go. Bring that up. 119. Uh, this is the book of James, chapter 1, and verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swept to hear. Do what? Let every man be swept to hear. So every so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American out here should be swift to hear the words of the Heavenly Father. That's right. We're giving you straight judgment from Yahweh by Hashem of Mashiach Yahweh Shai, man. Right. This is not man's words. We're not speaking of our own vain opinions, man. We're not working in the spirit of these Christians, man. We're working as the uh, damn servants of the Most High. That's right. Right? Slow to speak. Slow to speak. And a lot of Jake come up here, they just want to run their damn mouth. A lot of elderly Jake, they think they want to they are gonna come up here and drop like the brother said, uh, um, cause how we young brothers out here, they think they're gonna drop wisdom bombs on this. They come and say, oh, they young brothers, they got Bibles, they don't know what the hell they talk about. Right. They probably just, they probably just almost got shot or something. Now they wanna serve God. That's what brothers think, man. They not swift to here. They just wanna talk and run their mouth. That's right. Slow to wrath. Right. It's slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of Yahweh. Right. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness right. and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive the meekness, the receive the meekness, the ungrafted word, which is able to save your soul. Which is able to do what? Save, save your soul. And this word is able to save your soul, That's man. Right. This is what you should want to be saved. You should want your soul to be saved, not your flesh, man. Right. Right. Somebody could pierce the flesh and you, now, what you got now? You gonna go to Esau and then they gonna shoot you up with pills and all types of madness, man. And you might go crazy after that. Hey brother, you believe in God? Come here to word of God. Come learn who you are. Uh, Alright. He's too busy for the Lord, he's yeah, not gonna save you, man. Every, every Jake got somewhere to go. I bet you we stop at Edomite. We're gonna test that out. Most high willing Edomite will yeah. pass. We're gonna test it out and see if he, he stops. Yeah, he will. <laughs> he will. God. He saw with the God that's not there. This is the book of James, chapter 1 and verse 22. Bring it out. Be ye doers of the word, right? And not hearers only. So you got to be doers of the word and not hearers only. Deceiving your own self. Deceiving your own self. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. Right? And that natural face is you being in the world, right? That's the natural face. Right, all these jakes that's out here in the world, that's they, they got a natural face, man. They 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 face not glowing of no wisdom. It's not glowing at all. It's just dark and filled with wickedness, man. That's right. You can keep going, it's more on that. Chapter 24. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, right. and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. Right, and that's like you coming in this truth. 
And then you looking at old pictures of yourself on Facebook and you're like, damn, I used to smoke flat, bu fat uh, blunts. Damn, I used to go to the mall and look at all the girls. Damn, I used to do this and that. I used to, you know, be in folly. And then next thing you know, you be holding your face and you straight away forget who you are. You forget you an Israelite. You forget you God's chosen people. Then you go right back into the world, man. Right, right into destruction. Right. Right, there's a little more in there, I think. But whosoever, but whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, right, and continueth therein, uh -huh. he being not forgetful here, right, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. He shall be what? This man shall be blessed right. in his deed. So if you endure, basically, if you endure to the end, you'll be blessed in your deeds, many right. your works. Proverbs chapter one and verse twenty-seven. Right. When your fear cometh at desolation, uh -huh. when the strength and anguish cometh upon you, right? I was like it. When your fear cometh at desolation, hold on. Hey, brother, you know you got, after we talk to you, you know you got to keep them commandments, right? Right. What, the nah, it's more than that. It's 613. That's right. I don't know if I can keep up with all that. Hey, hey you, keep, it's like it. you keep 2,000 laws in America, why can't you keep the laws in the Most High? I don't keep all the laws, I Sometimes I break them. All right, but every man, every man is going to break commandments. All of us up here, we break commandments. We don't, we're not perfect up here. There's no man that's perfect, right? So we're not telling you to be perfect, but we're telling you to strive for that, right? Because that's what the word, the Lord wants for you, right? Let me get Proverbs. That's up. what I want for my son. Right. And you should want that for yourself. And that's being a good father, right? right? And this, you got to teach your word, your uh, son this word, right? Listen to this real quick. Bring that back. Uh, this is the book of James, chapter 1 and verse 19. It out. says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, uh -huh. let every man be swift to hear, right. slow to speak, and slow to wrath. Right. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Right. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity all of haughtiness, uh -huh. of naughtiness, and, and receive with meekness the ungrafted word which is able to save your soul. Which is what? Which is, is able, able to save, save your soul. Whether you want to save your soul or your flesh. Is that a trick question? It, depending on your answer. Soul. Your soul? Okay, so that's the correct answer because when your flesh is gone, all you got is your soul. So you, you got to listen to this word and it's able to show, save your soul. Right. Now also we live in the last time Right, you might hear a lot of people saying that. Well, we can prove that real quick. Now, this is an end time prophecy. Right now, we're gonna read this and we're gonna see if this is applies to what's happening right now. All right, listen to this one real quick. Second, Andrew chapter six and verse twenty-two. Right, and suddenly shall the stone places appear unsown. Right, the full places, the working, the fully operated places become unsown, meaning they're not working anymore. The full storehouses, the full storehouses, shall suddenly be found empty. Right, and you go to a lot of stores. There's no tissue. You you can you got a limit on uh, certain meat you could buy. Water, right? Um, you go to Walmart. They're telling you you can't buy elect uh, electronic devices. Anything that's non-essential. Right? So the full storehouse are becoming unsold. Now they're also when you go to the the docks where they uh ship out the food, right? There's people that actually record they they actually work out there and they document what's going on and they're telling the people that there's food not being shipped out. So now that means a famine is coming to the world too. That's right. And that's also that's prophecy. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Is that happening now or is it not? So that's to show you that this Bible, you have to, you got to actually listen to it and do what it's telling you to say. Do, my bad. So, so you got to keep the commandments, brother. You are Israelite according to God. That's right. Because again, he brought it out to you. Black is just a byword. Black is a color. You, like he said, you can't go to the land of black. It's There's black doesn't even color. Well, I mean, it's the color of your jacket. It, that don't even matter. Like, what would it even be a fucking? What would it even? I'm sorry. What would it even be like? What do you even be called a color though? Like, I mean, really, I'm just saying that they say that it's not. Well, whether whether it's a color or not, not that's name. not your nationality. Right. No, not at all. So you're not is. Do you believe that you're Israelite? Do you like believe that? Was what he said was convincing? Not what he said, but what he brought out was that convincing enough for you? I mean, from the research that I've done. All right, get Jeremiah 14 to two. No, that's the thing. <laughs> I have to go. I have to go. <laughs> I would listen. I would love to. I do have things. I have you got to a pen. You got a pen. No. 
Yeah. If you got a pen, let me give him the YouTube thing. Alright, brother. Let me say one thing. Yeah, I'll like. take the YouTube. So, I mean, the fact that there's curses put on people and that only literally every single curse fits us. No, people. And for, 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 you know, the white Jesus, the, the white Jesus being pinned here and he's in the Bible as a so-called black man, but they say, oh, the color don't matter. If the color didn't matter, put him back as a black man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Put the real image up. You know what I mean? I so, the, believe that. It, so like, if in the Bible speaks on that, it speaks on us being cursed. It, it, literally, the Bible, everything that's in the Bible, it, it shows you how we got chosen people, right? So, like, if that's not convincing enough to go in the book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 on down, and see, like, wow, this curse only fits us. You know what I mean? That's why we destroyed. That's why we don't know who we are. That's why we hate each other. You know what I mean? Like, there got to be curses. Because why can't we come up? We've been here. How long we've been in America? Right? We've been, as a nation, being here so long. But, yeah, we can't prosper. Nothing we do. That We got to be cursed. If we're not cursed, I don't know what, I don't know what is, man. Right? So, we Israelites, brother, that's your nationality. Your God-given nationality. The so-called white man called you Negro, slave, uh, nigger, coon. You know what I mean? He calls you anything he wants, right? And then we go around in African Americans, which we have on here is come from two different white men, right? Americo Vespucci and Africo Scipios, Africa, Leo Scipios, Africanus, right? So that comes from two different white men. So you, you, brother, you definitely don't look like you come from two different white men, right? Yeah, but you have to be the eyes. All right, brother, All right, you got to repent. Don't lose that paper, man. You're going to be destroyed, for real. That's right. All right, uh, which I, which Proverbs 20, 27. It's the no, book 20, of Proverbs, 21. chapter 1 and verse 21. She cried in the chief places. You can get Proverbs 9, 20, 19. She cried in the chief places of concourse and the openings of the gates. In the city, she uttered her words, saying, Right, and this is wisdom, right? This is talking about wisdom. Wisdom is uttering its voice in the streets. Because you see us out here in the streets, and we're preaching the wisdom of the Heavenly Father. Right? right. How long, ye simple ones, right. where ye love simplicity. Hey, brother, you believe in God? Oh. I gotta, I gotta ask the Bible. I need a Bible. All right, now we don't got an extra Bible, but we can show you something in the Bible real quick. It's not a religion. This is it. Get, um, get, get, go in the pocket. Go to listen to this real quick. Sirach 17 and 11. Let me get Jeremiah 14 and 2. Did you know that the people of the Bible were so-called black people? They look like you. They are you. Did you know that? That's not true. I'm going to tell you what. I come from Israel. You're a devil. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't. You don't, you don't come from devil. This the book of Revelation. Hold on, listen to this. Chapter 2. Because, hold on. He just said that the people of the Bible are not black. But let's see what the scripture says. Revelation. She's not your dog, you damn devil. She's not your dog. That's right. The hell? How the hell are you a Hebrew? You got Chinese letters on your head. You, you confused, man. Shut the hell up. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. No, no, no. I wanted, I wanted Jeremiah. You can bring that up. What do you want? Not your shepherd. Our shepherd. Get ready for your right. That's right. You're a devil, man. That's right. Separate. That's right. Separate from your enemy, sister. Talking about some let's go, man. This the book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Check it out. Judah mourned. And it gets their own language. Right. They are black. They are what? They, they are, are black. black. They're red. They, they are, are black. black. So the Jews of the Bible are black That's people, right. man. Not you damn red devils, man. That's right. Y'all the devil the Bible speak of, man. That's why y'all got to be destroyed, man. That's right. Walking around with it. He walking around with a real Jew calling himself a Jew. Right. Saying that's not true. We talking to the sister and his rude ass going to interrupt talking about something that's not true. We're not talking to you damn devils, man. Right. You devils got to go into captivity. Hell's wrong with y'all, man. That's why, man. We said the, the people of the Bible are black. He's talking about that's not true. I'm Jewish. It don't. It, we don't give a damn, man. Prove us that the, the, the freaking Jews look like you, man. Right? This is the Book of Revelations, chapter two and verse nine. Bring it out. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Right. So the Lord said the real Jews, He knows their poverty, right, and their tribulation. That they go through. Does the white, the so-called white man, or does the Jewish man go through any pov any poverty or tribulations? They own damn thirty-five percent of the world. That's right. What tribulations they go through? 
I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews right. and are not. And are what? And, and are not. not. And that's twofold because in this precept he's talking about the Jews that was actual, that the Jews back then that just wasn't keeping the commandments. They were saying they Jews and wasn't doing the laws, right? But it's twofold on the next hand because there's Jews, there's Jewish people that say they are Jews and they're not. You go into the scriptures, it tells you all over the people of the Bible are so-called black people. That's right. Brother, you are Israelite. You got to repent, man. That's right. You keep walking past this for a reason. The Lord got you walking past for a reason, right? Even though he was stiff-necked last time. You got to repent, man. We're telling all you brothers, you got to repent. Let me get Revelations 2 and 4. But are the synagogue of Satan. But are what? But, but are, are the, the synagogue, synagogue of Satan. Satan. So they're the church of Satan, man. Right? The church of Satan. They, yo, Esau, get Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. We really walking around. We are princes walking as servants on earth, man. That devil gonna say, come on, let's go. Right. Come here, slave. Yeah, and come, she went. Come here, slave. That's what you saying, man. We like cattle to these damn nations, man. Come on, that's not true. What you want, Ecclesiastes? You want? Ecclesiastes 10 and 7. Man, our people are. Ecclesiastes done, 7 and man. 7. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 7. I have seen servants upon horses right. and princes walking as servants upon the earth. And those servants is talking about is the so-called white man, these other nations. And that horses is symbolic for that high that high stature they got, that right. pedestal they own. Hey brother, you believe in God? Alright, that's cool. But it's talking about these so-called white people in these other nations. They're on that pedestal, they're on those horses. I seen servants walking as horses. That's I mean right. on socket. I seen servants walking on earth as damn princes, man. Read right. that again. I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. And princes walking as servants on the earth, man. That was a princess. Or I believe that was a, a woman, right. right? That's a princess walking on this earth as a damn servant, man. Esau, he on the damn spiritual horse. He got the chain around her neck. And he said, let's go. Right. You're not the Jew. The Jews are black. Oh no, hell no. Let's go. You're not learning your nationality. Right. Let me get Mark 4 and uh, 15. It's oh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Hold that. Let me get this one. This stuff. Hey, hold on. You believe in God? Oh, okay. We tried it and well, it didn't work on that Edomite. Hey, sister, you believe in God? Sister, you don't believe in God? You don't believe in God in these last days? Right. With all these atrocities happening, man? You're going to be destroyed, man. Right. We're not out here speaking like no damn, damn. What you want? 4 and what? 4 and 15. Mark this is the book of Mark, chapter 4 and verse 15. And these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. But when they have heard, Satan cometh immediately. He did what? Satan cometh immediately. Satan came immediately. Hey, brother, you believe in God? I am God. You are God? Yeah, the black man is God. All right, that's true Jesus enough. He said, like wool and feet like bronze. That's, that's, right. that's right. All right, we're gods with an S. We're lowercase gods with an S. We're not God. Okay. All right, so do you believe in the Heavenly Father? Let me say it like that. Yeah. You don't believe in the Heavenly Father. No, I don't. You ask me a question. No, I do not. No. So how you just? So why are you talking about man, Jesus? God, God, why so why are you talking? You just said that. I did not say Jesus. What you, you said? Jesus. What did you say? Peace, what did you just say? Right. What did he just say? I know Jesus. I said God. You said he had hair like wool. You said he had hair like wool. Who are you talking about? God walks amongst us every day. Jesus is a spirit. A shame on you for believing the damn ghost. This you gonna be put to death. The Lord's gonna kill you. Okay, well, look at right now. The Lord is gonna right kill now. you. Exactly. If you really was a fucking God, would we live like this? Hosea oh, chapter four and verse six. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Get James one and eight. Hold, hold. We believe you're gonna die a terrible death. We believe you're gonna die a terrible death. You are gonna die a terrible death, man. And we wish that on every so called Jake that's out here and not repenting, man. Just like Jeremiah did, man. Jeremiah forsook his people, man. You are. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Come on, man. The hell, man. Jake, that's the effect. Yo. This the book of Luke, chapter 13, of verse 5. I tell you, nay, 
But except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. You shall what? All you likewise perish. So if you don't repent as a so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, you want to die a speedy death, man. That's right. You want to die quick as hell out here, man. That's right. When all hell break loose, you're going to be the first Jake to die, man. That's right. You're going to be the so-called, the first hey. so-called Negro to die, man. Hey, he might die tonight, man. Yeah. Like, he got, he's scared of coronavirus. Yo, but, but yeah, come on, oh man. Our people are done, bro. You can get, you can go back. You can get Ecclesiastes seven and seven. Done, bro. What I told James you to get? What? James one and eight. Come. He double minded as heck. How he? He said he had. We're white, like I mean, he said we're God, cause um, he said, G, bro, he said he Jesus. Quoted, bro. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. He quoted that what he, what his hair and his head looked like. And then, How you don't believe in him if you and you caught what he looked like? Shut up, double minded man. And then say he's a spirit. Shame on you to believe believe in a spirit. Yeah, they told us not to believe in a spirit. He said, right. shame on you for believing a ghost. Yeah, that's not it. Was Yahweh Shai? Was Yahweh Shai not made in the image of Yahweh and yeah. his father? Uh, he said, if he have seen me, he have seen my father. So, yeah. so what the hell is brother talking about? This is the book of James, chapter one. In verse 8, Bring it out. a double minded man is unstable in all his ways. He's what? Unstable in all his ways. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways, man. That's right. A double minded man can't do nothing in the society, man. He gonna cross the street, then the light is green, he gonna cross the street, then he gonna turn back around when the damn light is red and get hit by cars, man. Right. That's what the double minded, um, that's how the double minded man gets down, man. A double-minded man don't know what the hell he want to do in life. That's right. He don't know what he want to do. He walked up and he looked like he liked what he seen. Then when we brought it out, he didn't want to deal with it. That man's double-minded. Then he said we're gods. And then brought up, come on, man. Right. I can't believe our people. Our people are foolish and some damn fools, man. Right, get Ecclesiastes 10 and 3. Man. I got it. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 3. There yeah, also... When he that is a fool walketh by the way, his wisdom failed him. Hey, what? It failed him. His wisdom failed him. His wisdom failed him miserably. That's man. right. Right? He went off. He went way off. And he said to everyone that he is a fool. He spiritually said he's a fool. That's man. right. That's exactly what he is. Get First Corinthians 2 and 14. What you got, Kate? You got something? Yeah. Uh, this is the book of Hosea. Chapter 14 of verse 9. Bring it out. Who is wise and he shall understand these things. Right. Prudent and he shall know them. Right. Prudent meaning wise. Right. For the ways of the Lord are right. They're what? They're are right. right. Uh -huh. And the just shall walk in them, right. but the transgressors shall fall therein. Right. And the just will walk in them and the wicked will fall therein, man. It's like a damn man fall into a, a ditch, a, a um, a bottomless pit, a ditch. You ain't never getting out that hole. When the Lord sink your behind in that hole, you are never getting out until you come back and he rip your behind out of there and destroy you. That's right. That's the only way you're getting out of it. Right? Uh, I want another piece of Let me. You got 2 and 14. Yeah. And. Uh, I mean, go to go to Sarah. Uh, First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. It's Iraq 39 and 24. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh. Right, and the natural man is the men in this world, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that's in this world. For they are foolishness unto him. For they're what? Are foolishness unto him. And these things, the spirit, the works, the words of the Lord are foolishness unto the damn carnal men of this world. The wicked Jake of this world, man. This is foolishness unto them. They don't want to get down with this. They don't want to hearken unto the words of the Lord thy God. They like the people Moses was speaking about. They are the people Moses was speaking about. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually disarmed. And they're spiritually stupid, spiritually disabled. Right. That's what that means, man. You are a walking spiritual handicap. Right. Spiritual retard. Yeah. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 39, and verse... Starting 27? No, 24. And verse 24. Look it out. As his ways are plain unto the holy... Right, and the Lord's ways are plain unto the holy, the separate, the Israelites, the saints... So are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. And this is a stumbling block unto the wicked, man. 
This is a stumbling block unto the wicked. The wicked can't understand this. Right? But the wicked gonna have to reap what they sow though. That's right. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to, hey buddy, you believe in God? Come hear the words of God real quick though. Muslim Islam is the offspring of, of the Israelites. That's right. The Quran is toilet paper. That's right. Why why is it that if Islam, if what they call their God, Muhammad? Muhammad stole. Oh, yeah, oh, Muhammad. Well, that's their prophet. It's, it's whatever, man. You're going down. Uh, what, read that again, kid. Done, bro. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 39 and verse 24. Look it out. As his ways are plain unto the unto the holy, right? So are the so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. And this word is a stumbling block unto the wicked. The wicked can't get this. Somebody give me Proverbs eight and thirty six and uh, uh, Psalms eighty one and fifteen. Proverbs eight and verse thirty six. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. So he that sinneth against the Lord wrongeth his own soul. If you sin against the Lord, you're doing your you're not doing yourself any good, man. You wronging your own soul. Oh, they that hate me love death. Love what? Love, love death. death. So all that hate the Lord love death, man. Straight like that. If you hate the most high, you love death. 81 and uh, 15. Psalms 81 and 15. You can get Sirach 16 and 6. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 81. And verse 15. Look it out. The haters of the Lord shall the later sorry. The haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him. Right? And the haters of the Lord are our people. Who hates the the Lord more than the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man? That's that's their God, yet they still forsake him. That's right. That's their savior, their God. 